Welcome to another insightful video on REITs by REITSpro.com. Before we move on, uh, I'd like to remind you to visit our website and mail, join our mailing list or join us on WhatsApp or our Telegram channel. So today we talk about FIRE. FIRE is Financial Independence Retire Early. So how do we do that and how do we do that with REITs? So FIRE is about saving up while you work, then investing wisely and then living happily. But what can go wrong? And this is where we want to present you with certain facts or possibilities that could happen. So FIRE, which is financial independence and retiring early, you save up sufficiently in shortest possible time. You draw up a strategy of passive income in uh, which takes care of your needs. And third, you can then stop working for money and follow your passion. That's what briefly FIRE brings as a concept. Now, the FIRE concept can actually be explained with four main things. One is that we'll, we can find out the objectives. You can list the objectives. Secondly, what is the planning behind it? Thirdly, which is very important, is where can this plan go wrong? And fourthly, can REITs somehow make it right? Does REIT have the potential to make it right somehow? So the three main objectives on which we will focus here is stability of income. So FIRE plan should give you stable incomes and recurring incomes. Second, they should also protect you from inflation as far as your main principal amount is concerned. Thirdly, the inflation should also be taken care of in your incomes. So as inflation rises, so will your expenses and the incomes also need to rise along with these rising expenses. So the plan to generate fire income usually considers three main components or a combination thereof. One being debt, equity or and the third real estate. So you could have say a hundred rupees and you can invest fully in debt that hundred fully in equity or fully in real estate or you could have a distribution between the three as per your understanding and requirement so the first part is that if you invest in debt does it give you the three main objectives we talked about so stability of income yes it definitely gives you stability of income but what about inflation protection for principal and inflation protection for incomes so for this you really need to have a very large corpus because you know you would be spending every year and the expenses would be rising so there should be some amount which should go into your fund which generates that debt income so the corpus has to be very large. Otherwise, what will happen is that the inflation will eat into the capital and growing expenses can be a big bit of a burden here. The second is if you invest in equity. So uh, yes, it does give you inflation protection for principal and incomes because uh, we know that uh, the asset prices uh, in the stock market, the equity prices will keep up with inflation and even the incomes on the companies would grow along with the inflation. But what about the stability of income? So a lot of us uh, know about a systematic and disciplined withdrawal plan, but does it really happen? The, the question is that are we able to do that? Because what really happens is that the psychological factors come into huge play. So uh, the systematic withdrawal plans are sometimes sometimes overshadowed by this psychological play and especially when the markets are down it's very difficult to withdraw and the second part is that a lot of us when we are not uh, when we visualize ourselves that we are not earning can we withstand the ups and downs of the stock market so uh, people uh, around you if you had probably noticed in the 2020 crash uh, covid 19 crash a lot of them became very unsure of their investments. Some of them had incurred huge losses when the markets were crashing because that was the only amount they had for their life uh, to carry on their life uh, uh, livelihood. So uh, the third option would be buying real estate which gener generates rentals. So real estate does give you stability of rentals. 
it gives you inflation protection for principal and it gives you inflation protection for incomes as well so uh, how does it do it because it all looks good stability is there rentals are there inflation happens and so on so uh, but the problem is that can you manage it as you age the second part is that most people can buy only one or two properties what if there are vacancy periods where the property is not you're not able to rent it out so then all the three factors uh, go for a toss so the stability of income is not there inflation protection is not there and for principal and even for incomes a lot of people actually vouch for real estate but these are the basic problems which can stop them from investing in real estate for uh, their uh, uh, fire plan or the retirement plan but what here is where reits come in so reits very briefly like we've outlined in other videos and on our website it's a detailed explanation we can buy and sell reits on regular stock exchanges so small investments are possible and you can get out of the investment when you want also the second is the reits are a form of large funds which buy rent generating completed commercial properties and the third is that the incomes from commercial properties are passed on to owners and the fourth very important part is that investors are well protected because reits are regulated by sebi so it outlines a lot of things like valuation of properties and how the incomes are to be given out so the a lot of opaqueness of property goes away because of good regulations so just to explain how reits can bring these three objectives clearly to a person who's has a fire plan the stability of income uh, happens because there is a stable rental income and there are fixed periodic amounts as per contracts the inflation protection happens for principal because there is property which underlies these reits and the property is real asset and historically real estate has been termed as the best inflation hedge and thirdly it also protects you for your incomes the, because your expenses are rising and the so so should your incomes rise so it since it generates rental incomes and fixed there are fixed increases in the amounts uh, as far as uh, the rentals are concerned so that's how the inflation protection for incomes happens so you can also a lot of people also advocate that you can use a mix of equity and debt and real estate uh, let's just say take equity and debt but then because real estate is a bulky asset so a uh, lot of times what happens is can you really make that plan work because you would also need to consider the discipline and psychological play we talked about of course if you are that disciplined it could suit your purpose but having said that reits are a natural mix of all three it's an equity come debt come real estate all rolled into one and it can beautifully fit into a fire plan you could consider either investing on the left hand side a combination of the three or taking a reit which could be a natural combination of the three so the choice would entirely depend on the investor of course and his or her psychology